Now, the saying goes, I even mentioned it earlier, you know, being older and wiser. What things have you learned as you've gotten older? Comedian Dan Regan weighed in recently on TikTok. My arm must be in a certain position before I go to bed, so I'll have full use of it the next day. Grumpy Old Men isn't a movie. It's a training video. The excitement I had going to a party as a teenager is the same excitement I have now when a party is canceled. My wife and I now drive by gas stations and announce the prices to each other. I understand now why my grandparents ate dinner at 4.30 p.m. and were in bed by 8 p.m. And they were right this whole time. The music is too loud. And the last one, mandatory bed rest, now sounds awesome. And the list goes on for those heading into retirement as they discover that unpredictability, well, it is just a, a part of life. What are some of the most common risks that you guys can help guard against? I would say that when I think about this topic, I an old phrase comes to mind where it says, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And you know what? When you're working and you're earning and you're raising a family, there's unpredictability of expenses, there's unpredictability of health, there's unpredictability of employment. And guess what? In retired life, those same risks are still there. But there are certain things that can happen that if you're not properly positioned, it can have a permanent impact on your ability to maintain your standard of living. So that's kind of why it's very important that you have your basic needs covered. So risks that the risks that we face don't necessarily change. In fact, I would say as an older person, uh, health could be the number one risk that you're faced with. Because if you get if you get sick and you end up having to spend a lot of your retirement savings to take care of your health, that could be, have a real negative impact on your ability to live your retirement the way that you want to. And then there's some people like myself who are 65 years old and have three kids in college. So early retirement was never an option for me. I've got to keep working. And uh, there's more and more people that are looking to work longer. And I'm certainly one of them. You know, one of the things that I love doing is, you know, what we call the retirement team action plan. And, you know, putting that together, we write out for clients what our summary of observations are in their situation you know, looking at ways to help them better manage their money or protect their assets or plan their estate. And sharing those observations where to take it up a notch and or eliminate threats that they haven't thought about. Some of the most common risks that we can help guard people against, really a six that I put on the list here. Number one is sequence of return risk. Uh, the sequence of return risk is for those of you that have transitioned into retirement time and not made a change to the asset allocation in your portfolio, and or uh, maybe you're just in a target date fund, but still all of your money's at risk in the market. So if you have a major market downturn, in those early years of retirement, it can be a disaster. A solution to that is what we call the independent income system. Uh, number two is a premature death of a spouse and the loss of income. So we think of life insurance and we think of life insurance when we think of young families and kids, but life insurance still is very applicable for a retiree for the replacement of a loss of Social Security. Number three is longevity risk. You know, a lot of people will spend their money and they'll spend it aggressively and we talk to them about the safe withdrawal rate and they say, well, you know, I'm not going to live past 75 because nobody in my family ever did. Well, the reality is, is what happens when you're sitting at 76 across the table from us and you've spent through your money too fast, having the longevity risk and delegating some of that risk to the, to the insurance companies of America makes a lot of sense for a lot of retirees. Uh, factoring in inflation, it's the real deal, and making sure that your plan is inflation-adjusted. Uh, developing a plan for, as what you talked about, long-term care cost, you can have your family's wife's savings wiped out You know when it's $10,000 a month of needing long-term care, and number six, to wrap this segment up, is talking about spending shocks. You know, something's going to happen in your life that's going to shock the system, whether it's the kids need bailed out, the basement flooded, the car unexpectedly needs replaced. Having that emergency account set aside for spending shocks is uh, another great thing to do to help eliminate some of the risk and uh, 
those areas that are common retirement risk for you? It's one thing to know about the risk. It's another thing to have a plan in place to when they do happen, if they do happen and when they do happen to, to navigate around them. And that is where having a plan with uh, the team at America's Retirement Headquarters really comes into play to get started, to start uh, developing that, to, to guard against these risks. 419-794-3030, or you can go to the website, schedule a time, find out more about the team at arhq.com. 